He's been called the art world's favorite jokester and a holy fool whose jokes reveal us to ourselves. Maurizio Catalan is such a prankster, he's even been known to send others to impersonate him at interviews. Hi, Hi I'm Serena. Serena. Nice to meet nice you. To I'm glad that we got you and not an imposter today. <laughs> Maurizio Catalan is an Italian artist who creates hyper-realist objects and installations that are both humorous and scathing social commentaries. He's also not quite what you'd expect as an artist, because he's the first to admit he doesn't make the works, leaving that to master craftsmen he hires. Instead, he dreams up the ideas. I have to admit, I don't know how to draw, I don't know how to sculpt, I'm a total failure, but... You know, but what he's created uh, is an internationally recognized body of work that's being celebrated at New York's Guggenheim Museum. In one of his signature boldly imaginative moves, he suspended all of these works under the building's central rotunda. We've had artists utilize the center to some extent, right. but this is the first time that every object in the exhibition is in the middle. Curator Nancy Spector has assembled a massive retrospective of almost all of Catalan's works. Entitled Simply All, the show represents 128 of his weirdly comic and sometimes disturbing pieces. It's a big hit at the museum, with over 4,000 visitors a day. People are staying for a really long time, sitting, because every work has its own story. And some of these works are controversial. This one of Pope John Paul II hit by a meteorite caused the director of the Warsaw National Gallery of Art to lose her job when it was shown there. In Warsaw, members of parliament actually went in when it was on exhibit and tried to write the figure, to pick up the figure, and somehow rectify the situation. But Catalan's works, which sell for millions of dollars at auction, often defy easy interpretation. The more questions a work raises, uh, the better the work is. It can be a joyful uh, experience, it can be a serious experience. One of Catalan's favorites is this privately commissioned piece of a woman in a refrigerator. He calls her Betsy. It's sad to say, but uh, while the work uh, was made, uh, she passed away. So the work uh, was given uh, to the family for the memorial. Her family keeps this in their home, but lent it for this show. They were so thrilled. They were so thrilled to, to have... Yeah, their yeah, granny. Their granny yeah, flying, granny. Fly and going up. Higher and higher. She's so sweet. <laughs> it's a little disturbing, Maurizio, but it's really sweet. For Catalan, getting to this show has been quite a journey. The son of a truck driver and a housekeeper, he was a poor student with a vivid imagination. This if is I, you. This is like, it could be anybody, anybody yeah. I'm, I'm sure. The working class student made good because of that wild imagination. His works reveal an irreverent streak that's not afraid to take on authority. What is success to you then? Success is waking up and going to swim, doing what you like, trying to live your life at your best. And now, while at the top of his game... Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. 51-year-old Catalan has announced his retirement from making sculptures. Serena, I'll Wonderful see you around day. the block. See you around the block. What's next for him? With an imagination like his, who knows what opportunities may be just around the corner. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.